Thanks for staying tuned. The International Law Association Nigerian branch, under the leadership of Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Professor Damilola Olawiyi, has held its seventh annual conference and 10th year anniversary of the association in Abuja. We have some of the highlights from that conference up next. The International Law Association ILA was founded in Brussels in 1873 as a learned society dedicated to the study and development of international law and the advancement of peace, equity and justice worldwide. Unlike the International Bar Association which is for lawyers, membership of the ILA is open to lawyers and non-lawyers who are interested in international law including diplomats, foreign policy experts, practitioners in justice, international law departments and students. These are the caliber of personalities gathered here in the nation's capital city Abuja for the 7th annual conference and the 10th year anniversary of the ILA Nigerian branch. In recognition of Nigeria's preeminent role in public and private international law, the ILA approved the establishment of this branch in Nigeria in 2014. The president of the branch, senior advocate of Nigeria, Professor Damilola Alawi, says this event provides an opportunity to reflect on the journey of the branch so far and to also map out decisive plans for the next decade. Since 2014, ILA Nigeria become the leading platform and intellectual space for Nigerian scholars and practitioners to unearth, analyze, and resolve contemporary questions of public and private international law, international diplomacy, and global governance. This year's conference is therefore a proud milestone anniversary of 10 years since we've been doing this wonderful job of promoting Nigeria's brand of international law to the rest of the world. The Vice President of the Association and Chair of the Conference Planning Committee speaks to the deliberate choice of the topic and the speakers. The theme of the conference is public private partnerships for sustainable infrastructural financing. And so our speakers comes across practitioners, lawmakers, lawyers, engineers, and people who are interested in international law and how PPP can be used as a tool for sustainable development, particularly financing infrastructure. The keynote speaker, the special advisor to the president on PEREC and investment, Dr. Jumoke Oduwale, spoke about the important factors for efficient public-private partnerships, PPPs, political will, solid contracts, rule of law, and stakeholder engagements. She also shared about the PEBEC Secretariat's work on the state's action for business enabling reforms, which include a critical PPP framework and empowering states to establish technical PPP coordination units. In 2024, the Nigerian economy is expected to grow 3.3% and 3.7% in 2025. This is uh, expert analysts domestically and, and um, internationally have made these projections. And the projected success of this year's economic outlook for the nation relies on productivity and competitiveness and the contributions of businesses which will be made possible through the improved ease of doing business, improved investment, and improved infrastructure. So it's all tied together. And as we continue to drive collaboration and deploy PDPs as tools for infrastructure development in Nigeria, we believe that as all key stakeholders play their part and embrace their roles and give feedback and continue to push on this nation building adventure, we can unlock the immense potential that PPPs and cultivate a dynamic and prosperous business environment for Nigeria. After her session, carefully selected panelists dwelt on challenges of infrastructure financing using PPPs in Nigeria, integrating ESGs in PPPs for infrastructure development, and integrating SDG 9 and 11 into the Nigerian legal education. The high point of the conference was the President's dinner, which featured a high-level conversation with the former Governor of Ekiti State and President Forum of Region of Africa, Dr. Kayode Fayemi, who spoke about the need for Nigeria to parade the best minds at the international level 
if the country is to regain its place of pride in international diplomacy.